Hey everyone, welcome to my studio. This week on the bench, I have got a number of options. So first of all, I've got this commission, but I do have plenty of time to work on this. So I plan on doing a little bit this week, but not getting finished or anything uh, because it's the first week of classes. So that takes a couple days out of my schedule to work on the classes. And then I have the same size substrate that I have already sealed. These two are the same. And I think I wanna do another one of these, only maybe with whatever colors I want that are a little bit different than the other two. And then this is a demo. I need to make a demo for the topic that we're working on in class, which is rounded objects with shade and shadow. And I'm not going to do a ball. I think I want to do a piece of fruit, some type. Not sure what yet. I'll need to take reference photos to do that. And then this thing I didn't work on at all. But I was planning on making that uh, into a smalty mosaic of trees. And it was going to kind of be abstract. But I'm not sure if I'll get to that since I have a lot of work to do to get ready for class. Especially doing this. Uh, this isn't... This will take me a little bit of time because I have to take pictures and all that. That's it. I'm going to start off making this demo project because I have class tomorrow. I uh, really need it for my Thursday class, which is two days away. And I want to at least get the... I don't, I'm not worried about getting the background done, but I want to get the subject done. So I'm going to seal this first with 50-50 well bond water. This is a cradle board. It's one of the, my favorite substrates. I have my black and white image of an orange and I have put carbon paper underneath so that I can trace shape. I have taken this drawing and divided it into five different tonal zones. And then I created a value scale with my oranges for the orange and divided it into the five tonal zones with uh, more variation in these middle zones with the colors I can use. And now I'm ready to start gluing. So I have finished putting together my orange and the shadow, which is the goal that I had so I could show my students. And I just want to point out that I followed a certain technique where you draw lines and you have different tones and you fill them in. And I would say that the only thing that's not working for me is sort of this transition between these two areas. I may actually pull up this lighter area because it really needs to start dark and have just a slight bit of lightness. So my reference line was a little bit off, but this is the area that I'm talking about. It's much darker than how I made it, even though it's reflected light. And I used my little key here. I think I, that I have made it just a little bit too light. And so the contrast between the two areas is just a little bit too much. So I don't know if I have time right now to fix that, 
but um, I might pull some of that up and make that a softer line. And I did want to show you that I used little bits for that highlight and I think that that was really effective because the orange has a texture to it and I really didn't show that texture except in that highlighted area. So I think I'm going to fix this so there's a better transition. That's it. To pull some of these pieces up, I am going to spray some water in there. Now I have just glued this today, so I'm hoping it's not too incredibly dry on there. Well, bond typically takes a good 24 hours to cure. See, that piece came up okay. still white underneath there. Some of these are actually not too bad, but this I think and this one in particular are a little bit too light. I'm not gonna, I don't want to go as dark red as this, but maybe somewhere in there. Lighter than this side right here. Sprayed all that. You do want to get the excess moisture off there so you don't reconstitute the pieces that you don't want to move and accidentally knock out other pieces. I can tell I've just kind of loosened that one. up going with a much more muted orange color and I think it looks much better. It took me a couple days though to get it right. There are just a few larger spaces open on this mosaic where I can just put a piece in. The rest it's going to take, um, it's going to slow down quite a bit as I have to custom cut each one to fit in the spaces that remain. <music> And what I like to do at this point is view my project from a low angle so that it, well, if I cover up this part, so that I can't see the gaps and just make sure that I am achieving the look that I want. And it does look pretty good. I think I like it. I still have some more pieces to go though. That's it. putting it together. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.